you sleep, you hiding from all the bright lights. I know. I know, it's so bright in here. You still want to cuddle, I don't believe you. Let's let Luna sleep. Good morning, guys. Look at all these sweets I have. Jen brought these British baked goods and I absolutely love these tarts. I think they're called, are they Bakewell tarts? And then these little cookies as well. Mm. These are so delicious. So thanks, Jen. And as well, I feel like these are kind of like Girl Scout cookies of Canada. <laughs> so some mint cookies, yum. And then I look and... Those are from Dan. All from Dan. Thank you, Dan. And then I look and Jules brought, well, Jules made this tart using my tart crust dough. My tart crust is really good, eh? So it's my favorite. Yeah, it's your, the best tart crust. I talking about it. Oh, did you? That's cute. Mm, the crust is really good so far. So Jules made a tart too, so we have so many sweets. And we even have leftover cakes, so yeah. I got this Choco Bon in the Kinder. In the Ferrero, we have this one. This one I remember, surprisingly, it sounds really good, but it actually wasn't that good. It's like the cappuccino one. Maybe they changed the recipe, I don't know, but it, it tasted really strange. Day number six. What the heck, there's two in here. I think one fell from somewhere else. Uh-oh. Oh no, I don't know. You have to. Well, this says tiramisu, so you'll have to open it. Oh, See, this okay. this one came from somewhere else, I think. Oh no, this might be tiramisu or the other one. Yeah, this looks like tiramisu because this says it is a white chocolate and mascarpone ganache, oh milk and dark chocolate ganache, Bailey's and coffee. Mmm, that sounds so good. Yes, this is the tiramisu one, and it's very yummy, guys. You can really taste the Bailey's alcohol. It's very smooth and creamy. Yum. Good evening, guys. I am being illuminated by the light of the PlayStation because Nikita's been playing PlayStation 5 all day today, which is actually exactly what I wanted him to do. I'm so happy he enjoys his birthday gift and he enjoyed his birthday yesterday, clearly. Today, I didn't really film much. All I did was really have breakfast, edit my vlog, and then we went for a nice, cold, 5k walk around the neighborhood because we love to do that when the weather is fine and it was actually not that bad we bundled up i literally wore two pairs of pants and we we're all good so now nikita and i are just about to go and pick up these gluten-free cookies that we forgot to pick up yesterday or they forgot to include in our order so we're going to pick up some cookies and then tonight we're going to be making roasted chestnuts and we're going to be having some mulled wine just to be a little bit festive some roasted chestnuts are so delicious, castagne. So we're gonna be having those today as well. So I'll be showing you how I make them. And yeah, it's just gonna be a cozy little evening at home for the most part. I'm wearing my cozy love actually sweater that I just love, guys. <laughs> I don't wanna take this thing off, it's so cozy. And I'm with this guy right here, Mr. PlayStation himself. I can't get over it. Yeah, so what's your favorite part about the PlayStation 5 for everyone who doesn't have it? It's very fast. Mm -hmm. Because um, the graphics, you were saying that they're really good, but the PS4 was also really good yeah. graphic-wise, but the best part is that it's faster. It's faster and, you know, it of course loads way more data. Yeah. So from far away you can see things that you would never be able to see on a PS4. So did I do good? Yeah, you did, you did really good. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank Let's you. go. You're welcome. Guys, isn't this mulled wine so cute? The ugly mulled wine. It looks like a little ugly Christmas sweater. And we found this actually at the LCBO. So this mulled wine is already done. It's ready to go. So all you have to really do is heat it up. So what I'm going to do is heat it up on the stove, put a few little, I guess, clementines in because we're out of oranges and maybe some cinnamon sticks. And then we're going to serve this with the roasted chestnuts. We're having a little Christmas evening. How festive. Okay guys, so today we are doing roasted chestnuts. Have you ever had chestnuts or roasted chestnuts? They are very popular in Italy. They call them castagne. And we are going to be roasting them in the oven. But first, what you have to do is you have to slit an X or at least a Y shape in them in the flatter part of the chestnut. So I'm making Nikita do them because I'm too nervous to do it myself and I actually hate watching people cut things. It's just a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> yeah, because you cut your finger above it. Yeah, them, since know? I've cut my finger before, I'm just really paranoid. But anyway, so we're doing that. I'm putting them in this pot because I actually read that it's a good idea to boil them first and not necessarily boil them so much. We're just going to be filling them in a pot of cold water and as soon as it comes to a boil, we're going to be draining them and then popping them in a really hot oven. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. This should be easy peasy and 
please, if you're doing this at home, do it very safely. Look, we even have a glove that you can wear. Okay, so the chestnuts are cut. They have their little X's in them, and now we place them in this medium pot of water. The water was cool, and we're just going to wait for the water to come to a boil, and as soon as it does, I'm going to quickly strain them and then place them on a baking sheet, and we're going to place them cut side up, and I'm going to bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. I would say no longer than that. You really don't want to overbake these, or they will be hard as a rock. So we're just going to bake them, and and then wrap them in a tea towel for another 10 minutes or so and then we will eat them. Okay, so the chestnuts are in here and we're supposed to leave them in here for about 10 minutes. They were in the oven for 15 minutes prior. Voila, the finished chestnuts. I hope that they are good. We're going to peel them open and see if they're delicious. I heard they're not that great this season, but hopefully these ones are yummy. And this is the mulled wine. Doesn't it look so festive with the tangerines and, well, I should say, with the clementines, because that sounds more Christmassy, and the cinnamon sticks. Yummy. As well as mulled wine. You guys can't have a party without eggnog. I absolutely love eggnog, so this one's going out to Dan. Do what I want you to do. Oh, mm. is it good? So good. Is it good? Oh, it's good. Really Yay. Cozy Sunday evening. How cute. Everyone has a little clementine and a little cinnamon stick in their cup. I simmered it down a little bit and I actually added a couple extra spices because I had a little bit more wine and it looks really good. It's adorable. This is amazing. So let's have a nice little cheers and then we're going to have some roasted chestnuts. Cheers. Let's take a minute to look at our Christmas sweater, shall we? Jen came over and she's wearing her little... Oh, you're actually... When did this come in the mail? Oh, I got it last this year. Is my oh, what? Christmas movies watching shirt. That's that is so, so cute. That's because, guys, I love to watch these cheesy yeah. Christmas movies. I know they're cheesy and they're almost unwatchable, <laughs> but I love them. They're actually really cute. They Very cute. Feels. I do love it. I love it. Look at my little mold wine. How cute is it? Cheers! Cheers! Woo! <laughs> uh, cheers, babe. Love you. Love you. Enjoy. Love you. They taste like a sweet potato, don't they? Almost taste like a sweet potato. Leave them there. Guys, I think I did actually a good job for my first time, so hopefully they're good. Mine is a good one. Oh, look at my little good roasted chestnut. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, oh, Gabe, you said you love chestnuts? I do. Aren't they good? They're delicious. Surprisingly delicious. Yeah, they're really good, actually. So I did a pretty good job. You know and we're having a nice little mulled wine, and it looks very festive and cozy in here. Mm, I love the mulled wine. And we're watching While You Were Sleeping, which is one of our favorite Christmas movies. It always reminds me of my mom. Cozy. We started watching hey. it, but I fell asleep. What's your favorite Christmas movie, Jen? I think, oh, that's so hard. I feel like I always love the holiday. I like watching the holiday. The holiday? Because I said mine was the Santa Claus. I would say the Santa Claus too. I would say Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Looney, what's your favorite one? Luna's favorite? All dogs go to heaven. Is that Oh No, I don't know. I love that. It's a good movie. Look how cute you look, my little patoots. She's showing him her her little elf. She's showing Dan her little elf. Come on, come on. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Only her Uncle Attic makes her this mad. Only Uncle Attic makes her so angry. Give me this. Cookie, go. <laughs> He's being a mean uncle. He's being a mean uncle to Looney. You're perfectly normal, Chihuahua. Yes, no. you are. Yes, She's so you nice. Are. Only Attic brings You're out. Perfectly Only normal. Attic brings out the true Chihuahua DNA. <laughs> You're perfectly. Yes. Only you. Hey, come here. I went from being all alone. <laughs> Being fiance. Harassing her with kisses. <laughs> if any of you guys make sourdough, you'll probably know that the best feeling is cleaning out your jar and making your home for your sourdough starter a nice clean one, especially if you've let it crust up for quite a few days or weeks. It's always nice to just clean it, refeed it, and see how pretty your jar looks, at least for the one day anyway. It's day seven and we're still doing leftovers from Nikita's birthday. I already picked on this to try and it is delicious. Guys, do you know how it's kind of gross when you heat chicken up again in the microwave? Well, if you have an air fryer like we do, you can heat it up in the air fryer. It only takes a few minutes. I think I did this for like eight minutes and it's delicious and fresh and warm and it honestly tastes like it just came out of the oven. And it's so easy to do, so I highly recommend getting an air fryer if you guys don't have one. I thought maybe these these would be like overrated or not that good, but they are amazing. Alert! alert. <laughs> <laughs> Edith's parents got this for us last Christmas, and we have been using it steady for a year and especially just love it. Yeah, especially Jules, honestly. 
This is, potatoes are the best in here, but potatoes. reheating chicken is a breeze. Vlogmas day seven. So seven days of advent calendars. Let's see what today looks like. And as per usual, we're going to be starting with Kinder. Oh, it's a choco bun. It's a choco bun for Luna. I feel Luna. like it's always the same thing. I know. The fun <laughs> ones are the burning ones. Oh my gosh. Ooh, finally a good <laughs> one. Luna's all excited. Woo. Oh, did we already get this one? I think we did. I'm I... waiting for the good ones. <laughs> Tenderly dark. I'm waiting What's for it last time. I'm waiting for these two. No, I never got Totengino. Did I? Yes, I no, got I that in one of them. No. Yes, Lee. I, I never time. did. I literally never did. I got I the Totengino one. Oh, I got the Totengino. I... Hey! <laughs> Winners. But I actually didn't film that one. I just came oh to add it. That was Maybe that's why. Birthday. Oh my, well look, I, we already got this one. I'm honestly waiting for these two, especially this one. This is my favorite. It's the Biancoretti. <gasps> oh, look how cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Fleur de noisette, hazelnut swirl, hazelnut paste janduya, which is basically Nutella guys, and milk chocolate. Mm. Oh my gosh, I love how they write it next. Oh my God, this is so Isn't that so pretty? pretty. Wow, I, this is honestly guys the best. <laughs> Luna. This is hey. seriously the best. No, you cannot. <laughs> She's trying to lick the chocolate. Luna, that is poison. It's not for little dogs. You have your own advent calendar, Luna. Why, you can actually this. see the chocolate so much nicer during the day. I know. See, we should always do it during the wow. daytime. Because mm. you can actually like, see our... This is the inside, guys, and it's very delicious. Nice and chocolatey hazelnutty. And there's even a candy little hazelnut on top. It's the best time of me. <laughs> this is going in my video. <laughs> Julia is singing his Christmas no. song. Guys, my nails have held up actually pretty good, but they look a little bit crusty on the edges, so I think I need to do my nails maybe today, maybe tomorrow, who knows, but I think I want to do a nice red. I might just paint over mine today. I love that red. Because look, my tips are like... That's pretty. Well. So I still have to keep this sparkle on this nail, so hopefully it looks okay with red nails, but remember how I broke my nail, guys? Well, the glue and this sparkle has kept it going, so this is still my real nail. Woohoo! Go party. Go party. It's so windy, guys. I didn't realize how windy it was. It looks deceivingly warm, but it's not. So we're on the terrace and I'm letting little Luna do her business. Let's give her some privacy, right? <laughs> this is the only snow you see. Not very much snow for December 7th. Guys, there used to be a lot of chocolate at the front of the house and now there's only white chocolate left. So do you know what I can assume? That Attic ate it all. <laughs> I'm onto Attic, I see you. So I just did my nails. It's this very bright red. It kind of looks a little bit more orangey in this lighting, but I think it's really pretty. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the sparkle, but I had no choice because as you know, my nail chip there and these sparkles really reinforce your nail and make sure that they don't just break off because it's like an extra thick coating of nail polish. You know when you take off the sparkles and it takes forever? Then on this nail, I didn't really want to do it on the middle finger, so I just did a little one on my pinky finger, but my hands are pretty festive. They look pretty cute. So yeah, I like red for the holidays, that's for sure. And here's my nails near the Christmas tree. I think the fact that they look so festive, it's actually, it's growing on me, this sparkle. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do when Advent is over because Luna comes to this, this area where her treat is in and she waits for treats every day. When Christmas is over, you're gonna be so sad. Okay, sit, give me the paw. Good girl. Okay, here you go. <laughs> give me the paw, give me the paw. Good girl. Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> there you go. Good little sweetie. How pretty does my Luna look bathed in the sunlight? She's so cute. She's so sweet, just resting and sleeping. She's so lovely, I love her. Yeah, she's tired. Sleep, baby, sleep, oh. Guys, how pretty is this sunset today? Wow, it really doesn't even look like a winter evening, but it's lovely. The sun is setting earlier and earlier, so it's not even five o'clock. And look at the sunset, but it's beautiful. All right, guys, the gamers are back in action today. We are playing Terraforming Mars. Let's go. Let's see who will win today. This is typically a game that I'm very good at, but now I think we've all gotten equally good. So right, right. Except I suck. No. Guess who won? Oh, yeah. He's so happy. He won. He won. 
Yeah, I'm forty. And this, might, this might even be the highest score. I have to check the booklet, but 130 right. points. This was a long game, and it was really good, actually. It was fun. So I just ran up to my mom's, and she gave me a haircut. She was just here, but I was mentioning how I needed a haircut. And she calls me at like 9 o'clock, and she's like, do you want a haircut? Come up. So I ran upstairs to my mom's, and she literally trimmed my hair. She gave me about... I would say like she took off a good two or three inches, which I actually needed, so I'm happy. So maybe when I get ready, shower, blow dry my hair, style it a little bit, I'll show you guys and hopefully it looks good. I just felt like my hair was looking a little bit straggly and she also gave me this new shampoo to try out. So if you guys are interested, I'll let you guys know how that is in my next vlog. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. This was a more cozy at home, casual style vlog, which I'm sure a lot of these vlogmases will be. I just hope you guys enjoy following along with my family and I as we celebrate the Christmas season, our favorite time of year. So I just wanted to say again, thank you for watching. And if you do enjoy these vlogs, please give them a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Happy vlogmas guys. I'll see you the next one.